Hello, I'm Damien Hackett from Place Estate Agents and welcome to our report on the Brisbane market for 2015. The first four and a half months of 2015 has seen a continual strengthening in the market that we first started to notice 18 months ago. Now this is the recovery from the lows that we saw in 2011 where the economy was affected but in Brisbane particularly the effects of the floods really saw confidence disappear from our market. Now, if you look at the Brisbane market and compare it to say, the booming markets of Sydney and Melbourne where you've seen between 10 and 15% price growth over the last couple of years, Brisbane is a lot more moderate, but it's at a level which is, uh, I guess, sustainable and which is working well for the buyers and sellers in the market. We've seen probably between three to 5% price growth in most areas. There are sections of that market, particularly in the, say, $500,000 to $700,000 price bracket, where you see owner-occupiers competing with investors, where we've seen really strong growth. Another particularly strong section of the market has been the upper end, so properties above $3 million, properties even up to $10 million along the riverfront and on the hills in the inner suburbs of Brisbane. We've seen a real return to a, to a healthy demand for those types of properties, and people are paying good prices. We're seeing activity since we haven't seen since before the GFC in say 2006 and 2007. What we are noticing now as we moved into the colder months is the number of listings coming on the market are starting to shrink. Now this is a seasonal thing that happens every year and it's probably led by behaviours in the southern states where if you look at the weather and the climate down there in June, July, it's not a great time to be selling real estate. But if you look outside the weather today, it's probably the best weather of the year we experience here in Queensland. A place, we see this as an opportunity for vendors to get out there and encounter better selling conditions because you're facing less competition. We know the buyers are still there, but for some strange reason, the seasonality of June and July means that less listings come on. So if you've been considering holding off selling until later in the year, I'd encourage you to have a chat to one of our agents to investigate the campaigns that we'll be running through June and July to really see some exceptional results for our sellers. On behalf of myself and the Place team, thank you very much for watching.